All right, so check it out. I've got, uh, we're gonna just swap out uh, SSD into this laptop. The HP Pavilion DM4. Okay, check it out. We're gonna swap in a new SSD. Uh, it's a larger size. I've got an old one in here. Anyways, this one's got a new fresh OS install. It's not a brand new one, but it's it's one that it's one I got off of uh, eBay. It's a Samsung. Um, I believe it's one of their um, Samsung stock drive. There you go. It's a 128 gig. I think I got like a 60 in there. Um, it's just not enough and so that that's a that's a 128 i think this is this is like not the evo 850 or 840 or pro or but i think it's probably maybe one of those just stamped differently um because because it probably came inside of a laptop uh itself stop um anyways 35 bucks you just can't you can't beat that uh, it's 35 probably people pay 50 as well so but instead of just putting this into the laptop what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to use this device and you can find all the links in the description below or whatever maybe I'll do it should definitely help for those who want it I'm gonna this this is an adapter uh, for here so I can plug it into the side of a, a, a different laptop or this laptop I take the information off of the drive here and clone it straight to this drive I'd like to have some information from you. If you give us some information, we will be... Well, <laughs> but if you don't, then we are going to have to get... And now I'm going from a smaller drive to a larger drive. I believe the software allows you to expand the partition um, so you're not stuck with like a 60 gig drive and then an empty partition which you have to then format and then you can use. There's no really reason that I can think of to be splitting things up into partitions. Um, you do that with the folders. Um, you run into bigger problems when you're partitioning out a hard drive. Um, programs don't use uh, the information faster because they still have to, it still has to come off this single drive and the single channel so so but I'm so I'm gonna save a huge step and I'm just gonna clone straight to here and that's if I don't want a fresh install and I want what I had um, sometimes it's nice to, to, to redo a computer because you can wipe everything clean and start fresh and start new um, because you know programs and files they get cluttered and and maybe you just want to start from scratch so that's why it's actually always nice to have a base a base hard drive software software image and, and at the very base level and then then you can just slap that on here and then add the stuff on so you don't have the stuff you don't want the malware the bloatware any viruses that got in that your antivirus is knocking down uh, uh, driver issues and problems and things like that I mean a fresh install is always nice but we're gonna clone let's get to cloning so I'm actually gonna clone from a different computer this is the computer I'm going to clone from this is the main plug that you would plug in and this should provide power and data transfer um, on a platter drive I had to use this but there weren't two USB plugs in that particular uh, scenario and setup and so I used a I used a USB battery pack and that gave power to the drive and this allowed for some power and data transfer so let's go ahead and this particular laptop does have two two plugs so you'll see these two lights pop on here and so that's your power and that's your data and you saw the blue one blink um, so this probably isn't going to require that second plug in there but I'm gonna plug it in anyways yeah that little blue blinking that's kind of like a, a data or an initialization so we'll go ahead and put this off to the side here and then you can see the lights going on and off blinking um, but I do want to show you uh, this all right so um, it's a free program for cloning it's called reflect it's from Parag paragon i believe paramount software uk um i'll try to put a link in the description below mac macrium reflect free edition for non-commercial use um rescue media no thank you that's the drive i want to clone that's the drive that's over here it's got no partitions on it um these are 
these are actually equal drives. So th these two drives are identical, so we don't have to uh, tweak or mess around with anything. We're not gonna run into any issues uh, regarding uh, this is a bigger drive and this is a smaller drive, or this is a smaller drive and that's a bigger drive. But I believe there's some settings settings around somewhere, well, advanced options there. There's probably some settings somewhere where um, you can massage uh, the partitions or maybe not copy all the data over or something, I don't know. So we wanna clone it to that drive. That's that's the one. Um, if there were partitions here, um, you would just click delete on those partitions. Um, we can go ahead and click uh, next, next, and finish. Um, do you wanna, uh, I don't know what that is. I'll just, <laughs> just say yes to it. So this actually does take a long time. Um, so I think, I think it'll uh, show you the time it took uh, in the end, uh, it's probably faster from SSD to SSD. I'll say on average, it's 20 to 30 minutes. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording and uh, I'll pick up when it's when it's completed and finished. All right, so what we have here is our clone completed in 51 minutes and 29 seconds, which is uh, a little longer than I said. I said it was gonna be about 30 minutes. So, so anyway, so this is the computer that we cloned the hard drive onto that one. And now we're gonna insert it into the DM4HP. Uh, that's a core i5. Um, so here we go. We can just take that off there. Uh, we can select OK, close that, and we can set this laptop to the side. So this would be an easy way if you had the same laptop to go clone, 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 clone. But you can also um, clone uh, and then do an update uh, so Windows can go in there and kind of find what drivers you need and other things. And you know, you don't have to worry about like the chipset driver and all this other stuff. Um, not like you did in the past to where it wouldn't work. Um, maybe it would be better if you did do that, but I uh, I haven't seen any negative effects um, in not spending hours and hours trying to find the software and the drivers, and everything that you might need. So this actually works out really well. And that goes from AMD to Intel. I can go from Intel to AMD and AMD to Intel, from a Dell to an HP and uh, vice versa. Um, so it's pretty cool. Um, all right, so let's get rid of this computer. So this one's pretty easy. Uh, first things first is let's get rid of the battery. And I think some people would say, oh, turn it turn it back around and then hit this button to release flea power or whatever residual power. I've never actually seen that, but on a desktop I've actually capacitors hold on to a little bit of energy and so it's a good idea. It's good practice for sure. So we've got uh, these two screws right back here. So we've got uh, that screw, we've got that screw right there. And then we've got uh, another screw right there. We've got uh, this type of a screwdriver and then we've got this type of a screwdriver. This one just has a battery. This one has a place where you can hold and secure the screwdriver as you spin it. Um, I do like this one if we're doing this a lot. It's uh, anti-arthritis medication, I guess. This runs on two uh, AAA batteries, uh, so they're not very powerful. So uh, stripping the crosshairs, not likely. Um, Cross-threading going the other way, you should be able to feel it as it starts to cross-thread because you always want to start it like this and then use the power function but taking screws out, there's no potential for cross-threading, so. So I'm just gonna find that screw right there. And then that one's out all the way, and I believe it should slide up. I believe it should just slide that way. Right. So then we've got just these clips here. And so this is where our RAM is. If you wanted to upgrade or remove or do some troubleshooting, this is just a cover. See, there's where our RAM would be. BIOS, motherboard, uh, battery, you know, Wi-Fi, I believe. So then, uh, taking this off actually exposes this screw and that screw. Okay, so then that allows you to pull that off. And then we just got some clips. Really easy to take this off so far. As opposed to the laptop I did just before this one um, in a different video. Uh, this, I'm already at the hard drive. And the other one was ridiculously, I mean, I had to take the keyboard off and then you had to pry apart like, you know, about a thousand different like, tabs and you know it's just it's just a nightmare um so it looks like it looks like this is uh, attached and what am i gonna do so i know this tab if you look at the picture right here it doesn't suggest that there's any screws but that i need to just bring it up like that so yeah see it's just held in with this like foam rubber so that's pretty good disconnect uh data and power cable and then we'll let's go ahead and get this off See, we're just taking off the four screws that are holding the foil in place there. 
Yeah, so this is an old uh, 90 gig Corsair Force, which I believe was a replacement because uh, another one crapped out and died on me. Um, but we'll put that to use in another in another machine. But yeah, if you look at these, if you look at these two drives, they're actually different. That's a, this is actually a, a bit smaller. That's quite a bit thicker. But we'll still put it in the foil. So we got to make sure that we orient this the right way. We got the tabs which will connect. Oh, so we got to flip it over. Tabs are going to connect that way. Okay, so we want to put it in the foil casing this way. We'll turn it over so we can do the screws. So not putting the screw there first is a terrible idea. Uh, attaching the screw to the screwdriver via magnetic attraction. And I'll put a link to these tools in the description below. But allowing the mag magnetism of the tip of the bit to hold the screw on allows for better uh, positioning instead of what I was doing and what I do on occasion with some other things, which is try to place that with my big fat sausage fingers and then try to, it just, it's just gonna fall off. It's just a bad method, but it just takes a quick second to prep that. So we've got all that. We want that tab to go in that same position. Let's go ahead and connect SSD. I mean, while we're in here, we can we can hit the whole thing there's just you know a touch of that uh, we can take the rest of it off but you know i'm just upgrading and i don't think it's going to be very dirty in there that's it i mean it's in uh we can put the battery in flip it around uh turn it on and test it but i'm a person who doesn't like doing that <laughs> which uh usually causes a bit more work for myself but i like to have confidence in my work i like to feel confident and these screws, these screws uh, seem to be held in by, oh yeah, they're like little washers on the backside there. So these screws won't actually come off. Okay, we don't need things too tight. Everything's good. The battery flops into place so on the ridge back here and then flops into place. That's actually a pretty big battery for this. And throwing an SSD in here, now you don't have to spin some platters so the energy consumption uh is a lot less meaning more time to to game or web surf or whatever you're trying to do more time on the dark web more more time floating around tour trying to uh research the the best price on a hitman because you know it's all about getting value for your money um so we can flip it around here press the power button this battery actually works um, and keeps a charge so Yes, and don't, uh, <laughs> my, my daughter was using the monitor. No, she wasn't. That's actually all me. I don't know whether that's spit or splattering soup, but if I do, if we do get into a, a famine type situation, um, I could scrape the surface of the screen and then make maybe a soup out of it. Okay, so we turned it back on. We've got, I think this resolution is a little wonky. You know, when you do something like that, you just want to let Windows update go ahead and update whatever it can find so we'll turn on wi-fi here windows update check for updates uh, right here we're just going to go ahead and let it do all the updating that it needs to do and uh we should be good to go yeah see so i found all these things to update i, I love you guys guys i love you and uh i want you to uh, keep watching, uh, send me whatever questions you got, and I won't answer them, and that's that. I'm out.